Hi guys, it's Tara. I'm back with another video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. But, um, I don't know. I kind of had a, a sit down with myself like the past couple of days or so. And something just came to me and told me that I needed to um, kind of just, you know, take a break from things, work on myself. But, um, I don't know. Something said I was sitting down meditating this morning and then in the middle of meditating something just came to me and told me like you know this is vital information that you need for yourself as well as for other people but it's something that um i would say i've actively practiced all my life so i feel like it's gotten me this far but after a while you know you kind of get older society conditions you and you kind of forget about the things you used to do when you were younger but um the thing is is observing versus absorbing and i think it's a lot of it's an issue that a lot of us at this time especially because everything that goes on within the world is kind of struggling with um so kind of just making this video for whoever out there needs to hear it um but what i mean when i say absorbing versus observing we all understand like we're all spiritual beings just going through a human experience so we all have our ups, we have our downs, we have our experiences within life in which that we go through. And I think a lot of us are in the place that we're in within our life with it being the anxiety, the depression, just the, you know, the highs and the lows and the inconsistently feeling complete, whole, competent, or happy. It's because a lot of us are absorbing our experiences instead of just observing them and what that means is we all like i said go through ups and downs and whatnot it's just a part of the experience of life we understand that at this point or some of us should be if you're here but we're absorbing the information or the emotional trauma around these circumstances instead of just observing the situation like um just my situation for example um verbal abuse you know what i'm saying like a lot of the times you'll either blame the other person and see like you know what's wrong with that person or you're say to yourself or you'll internalize the situation where you'll say what's wrong with me that this happens you know what i'm saying when people don't realize a lot of the times a person is projecting their own issues. So a person behaves based upon, you know, whatever trauma that they've been through unless they've risen up above that that trauma. So a lot of times a person will self-project, but instead of saying, you know, what can I learn from this situation and sit back and observing the circumstances we will either, like I've said, internalize it or externalize it and judge that person. And now we're defensive of all people that are, you know what I'm saying? Instead of learning from the experience, like I said, we're having a tendency to, you know, just absorb it. And now we're carrying on all this emotional baggage from previous traumas. You know what I'm saying? Our ancestors did it. We're holding on to their traumas their ideologies you know what i'm saying from different generations when you know what i'm saying we are, as a um society have to understand in order for us to move forward we have to grow and in order to grow you have to change so that means sometimes dropping you know what you think you should you know what i'm saying these old ideologies that it's just not, it doesn't serve you. It, it just is emotional baggage. But I don't know. Like I said, something just came to me and told me that I needed to make sure I get this out. So I'm just making sure I do that. Like I said, it's something that I think everybody at some point at their life, one point or another, know somebody that did it or are doing it currently has, you know, kind of went through these issues. But Hmm, it's all just a growing experience. Like I said, try not to look at the situation, you know, from the perspective of why me or why is this happening? You know what I'm saying? Try to, what can I learn from this experience? What did I take away from? You know what I'm saying? What did, you know, what 
you know what I'm saying? What does this say about, you know, this particular person or what is this person even going through that, you know what I'm saying? It's not always, a lot of the times we run into situations that are not even our fault. Like you're out, you're driving and there's a person that, you know, runs a red light and almost hits you. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily, and you get upset and get the yelling, you know what I'm saying? And that's a whole argument, but it wasn't necessarily about you per se. It was, this person was trying to run a light to hurry up and get to a job that, you know, is 10 minutes away and they're 16 minutes away and they only got one tardy left before they're fired. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily about you. It's this person may have whatever going on, you know what I'm saying? And it's projected towards you, but that's not for you to absorb that energy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to understand just to let certain things go if it does not serve you you know what i'm saying just observe it from a a standpoint of being unbiased if you know what i'm saying it's something that oh you know what i observed this situation and i feel like it benefits me i might take this information and apply it then apply it but if it doesn't then keep it moving but you know stop allowing our emotions to rule you know what i'm saying necessarily each each experience that we're going through in life, when you allow your emotions to rule everything, you get emotions that either get overbalanced or under, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's unbalanced. So in order for us to move forward and continue to keep balancing as a society and just evolving, you know, you got to step back and observe, okay? Observe. But I hope you guys have a good day. Um, Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share, and... Bye.